This tutorial explains how to extract values and names from a table object using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you an example and this example is based on the table object that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new table object is appearing, which is called myTab. And we can print this table to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that we have created a table containing five table elements, which are named A, B, C, D, and E. Now let's assume that we want to extract only the numeric values from this table. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line six. And in this line of code, I'm applying the S numeric function to my table object that I have just created. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new table object, which is called tab values. So if you run line six of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called tab values. And we can print this table to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that we have returned only the numeric values corresponding to the elements in our table. So in the next example, I want to show you how to extract only the names of our table object. And we can do that as you can see in line nine of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the names function to our table object. And again, I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which we call tab names in this case. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that another data object is appearing at the top right of our studio, which is called tab names. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector of characters and these characters correspond to the names of our table object. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.